everyone welcome back or to my channel i'm lexis and this is nom nom to fitness where i make mainly healthy recipes today's an exciting video because i'm going to be making as you can tell by the title delicious chocolate recipes who doesn't love chocolate like come on so yeah i'm making healthy vegan chocolate snacks to grab on the go to have throughout the week because I realized throughout the week I always want to have snacks. I just randomly, you know, go downstairs and throw together something to make cookies. But this time I wanted to make most of the stuff that I eat healthy, being that I am starting to get back on track, eating healthier, exercising, all that stuff. So yeah, all the recipes that I'm making today are very easy, require simple ingredients, very easy steps. So let's get into it. So to make these chocolate eggs, you're gonna need some cocoa powder, some pure maple syrup, or agave, or whatever liquid sweetener you want to use, some almond butter, some coconut oil, and some sea salt. And of course you're going to need some type of mold. I'm using this egg mold. You can use an ice cube tray. I'm adding one fourth cup of cocoa powder, one fourth cup of melted coconut oil, fresh container of almond butter. You're gonna to wanna to use a nice and creamy almond butter. So when I made these the other day, I didn't really measure it, so I don't know if I put one fourth cup of almond butter or if I put a half cup of almond butter in it. So I'm just gonna taste it first. It really doesn't matter, you can do it however you choose. But I'm gonna start off by adding one fourth cup of almond butter. If I feel like it needs more than I add more. So I'm adding two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. I just like it with two tablespoons, but you can use, you can add one tablespoon. I'm sure it'll still be good. And I'm adding a pinch of sea salt. Up. Oh, we also need some vanilla extract. Just a drop. Now I'm just gonna whisk it up. Okay, so I did add a half cup of almond butter. So I'm adding another one fourth cup. So it's a half cup of almond butter. Okay, so for the other half, I'm just gonna chop up some almonds. So now I'm putting these on a plate, just so they can sit up in the freezer. And they don't have to freeze long either. But I'm gonna leave them in for about 20 minutes. So the chocolate molds are finished. You just pop one right on out. Look at that. Nice, smooth, creamy chocolate egg. That's good. Mm. Your napkin. I'm gonna try one with the almonds in it. Mmm. I always buy chocolate. When I go to the store, I'm always looking for chocolate bars. I love the XOXO sea salt, sea salt and dark chocolate bar. But honestly, I'm not even gonna be buying chocolate anymore because this stuff is really good and it's healthy. Only a few simple ingredients. I made these the other day and they were gone, like completely. My mom loved it, my dad loved it. And the best part, it's good for you, so you can indulge in delicious chocolatey goodness. So I put them in a container. And I just pop them in the freezer. So anytime I want them, I can have them. They're not as frozen right now because I put them in the fridge. But I'm going to end up leaving them in the freezer. So I'm gonna blend up some oats to make an oat flour. 
This is the easiest thing. All you have to do is buy oats. You can buy gluten-free oats. So I'm measuring out two cups. I'm adding a half cup of cocoa powder. I'm adding one teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of sea salt. Now I'm adding one fourth cup of coconut sugar, but you can use organic cane sugar. Now I'm mixing up the dry ingredients. Now I'm adding one fourth cup of pure maple syrup. I'm adding three tablespoons of melted coconut oil. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And of course, some chocolate chunks on top. Now I'm gonna bake it at 350 for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna check on it though. Halfway through to see how it's doing. It's so chocolatey. Cute little dessert plate. I got this from Target actually, in that little dollar section. They have some nice things there. Okay, I'm trying it. Mmm. Mm. I can get jiggy with this. I love chocolate. Seriously. That's why I've been wanting to make grab and go chocolate recipes lately but I wanted to make them healthy. This is gluten free. I don't have a gluten intolerance or anything, but sometimes I don't want to eat a whole bunch of white flour. So I like using oat flour. This is basically like oatmeal in cake form. Chocolate oatmeal cake. Mm -hmm. Need some almond milk after that. It's not dry though, it's moist. I just love a nice cold glass of almond milk after you eat some nice fudgy chocolate, you know what I mean? I'm adding a half cup of tahini and I'm using the liquid kind. I'm adding a half cup of dairy-free butter. This is the one that I'm using. One fourth cup of almond milk. A half cup of organic cane sugar. I'm adding one third cup of coconut sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now I'm going to use an electric mixer to cream it all together. I'm adding one and one fourth cup of spelt flour, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one teaspoon of sea salt, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm adding some chocolate chips. I'm just fold it in. More chocolate chips. I'm gonna chill this in the fridge. Actually, I'm going to chill it in the, in the freezer for 30 minutes or an hour in the fridge.
the cookies are done and they look delicious. This would be really good if you sprinkled some sea salt on it from the top right after you take them out of the oven. Oh, it's so soft. Just look at this cookie. Mmm, it's like perfect. It's crunchy on the outside and nice and soft in the middle. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, look at that. That chocolate. These cookies are so good. I had some tahini in the pantry. Am I starting to look? Cause I don't really like tahini that much. I tried it in salad dressings and I realized I don't really like it that much, but I decided to put it in some cookies because I saw someone make it with tahini before. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see what I have here. Whip something up. This is perfect. It's like the perfect cookie. I don't even think I taste any tahini. It just tastes like a really good cookie. Because to me, tahini has like a light, a very light peanut butter taste, in my opinion. But this, I don't think anybody will even know there's tahini in this. It's like crunchy on the outside soft in the middle fudgy chocolate just so I have my delicious chocolate snacks for the rest of the week please make these they're so delicious the chocolate the chocolate cake but those cookies are definitely a hit if you make any of these recipes feel free to tag me at now to fitness on Instagram thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye bye